think I'm lucky to have Eugene and Eugene's lucky to have me. So we complement each other in that sort of way. So it's, it's a nice harmony of the two of us. We're like yin and yang. What's up, guys? I'm Gabe from Championship Quest, coming to you from the studios of We Play Media, where the game was made and where we support millions of fans around the globe. Let's take a look at the Fan World Championship Round 13, which again was dominated by some familiar riders and fans. Taking the third place was Alexis Spargo with a contributed average of 613 million points, Salvador Chusi being the top contributor. Espargaro has many options for the 2017 season, including offers from Aspar and Aprilia. Espargaro is also considering moving to Superbike. It is well into the season and Championship Quest is proving to be one of the most exciting MotoGP games. Just squeezing into second was Bradley Smith with a mere million point difference. And I know you're thinking, come on, a million points. But that could be just one extra race. He rang in 614 million points. Sam Fleet was right on par as the top contributor for this week's second step on the podium in the Fan World Championship. If you guys don't know already, Bradley Smith has signed to KTM and his teammate will be Paul Espargaro. Bradley will move to KTM next season. The guys have raced many hours this week to amass these sorts of scores. Getting closer and closer to the podium spot are other players like Joma Pasillan and Ryan Shaw, whose efforts are nearing the second and third place finishers. These two have been very competitive and we'll see if they make it to the top in the next couple of weeks. On the top step taking the honors was Eugene Laverty with an average score of 796 million points. Sam Knott has done it again as he soars to the top of the contributors. The person who has the most points can expect to win the coveted honors of the Fan World Championship podium, shared by you and your favorite rider, who you also get to meet at a race of your choice. If you want to see your rider place at the top, there is one thing you can do, and that is to share the game with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you go to the MotoGP Championship Quest website, you will find a bunch of posts to share and help your favorite rider. One of the coolest features about the Fan World Championship contest are the prizes. The fans who race the most are rewarded with the best gifts possible, like Tissot watches, shirts, helmets, and even a priceless valuable from Brembo Brakes. Sam made it to the race in Catalonia, explored the paddock, and got to meet Rossi. Also in the paddock in Catalonia, Spain, our team member caught up with Pippa Laverty, Eugene's wife. Let's see what she had to say. So. <laughs> it's, here we are, we're at the uh, Catalan Grand Prix. It's just been run and won, and we're sitting down having a chat with Pippa Laverty, who is the most popular wife in the paddock I would say. Oh, really? Do you think so? I, I know so. One of the, the wives of, of a MotoGP rider. Yeah. Um, you know everybody always freaks out and wonders how they deal with the pressure of being married to a, a MotoGP rider but I'm more interested to know how Eugene deals with the pressure of being married to you. <laughs> why? Because I'm a little bit crazy, Graham, is that why? No, I mean, it is a common question. A lot of people ask what it's like being married to a MotoGP rider. And it's like anything, you kind of get used to it after a while. And I think I'm lucky to have Eugene and Eugene's lucky to have me. So we complement each other in that sort of way. So it's, it's a nice harmony of the two of us. We're like yin and yang. So... You know, this is this is an exciting sport, but there's also a danger behind it. Um, but at the end of the day, you live life to the full, and you want to do what you love doing every day, and that's that's how we live our lives, and that's how 
the family is so proud of Eugene, not just the Lavities, but the McDonald's as well, because they they can follow and Eugene can carry on Jean's legacy, you know, so it's really nice. It's important for the kids to know that, you know, when you work hard for something, it doesn't just happen. You, you gotta, you gotta work and it's no different to, you know, riding a motorcycle professionally, anything you do, if you want to be the best, you got to work hard and you got to, you got to, you got to put in the effort and the hard yards. Uh. Cool. Well, thanks very much, Pippa. And she is, without doubt, the uh, the most fabulous girl in the paddock. <laughs> and we'll see you now, next time. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today, guys. We hope you enjoyed the show. As well as supporting our favorite riders in MotoGP, we will also be supporting riders of various other motorsports who suffer career-ending injuries through our partnership with Road to Recovery. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to race as your favorite rider in the Fan World Championship.